Thank you so much, Lisa. And uh, I just want to say that we are so privileged at NRDC and in the nation to have an EPA administrator who is so committed to protecting the environment, to ensuring that citizens all across the country are fairly treated to healthy air, water, food, and who uh, those who have suffered particularly from disproportionate impact over the years from lack of environmental quality are so high on her agenda. So I am a huge admirer of Lisa Jackson, also a friend, but so grateful that the president has appointed somebody who, for whom environmental protection is the mission of her life, who will do everything in her power to ensure that the future of this country and the well-being of our citizens are protected going forward. So she is a total champ, and uh, we are so lucky to have her as part of the environmental future of this country and also here with us tonight. I also uh, want to thank all of my colleagues and friends uh, from NRDC and from the environmental community, uh, from the Hill, from all the agencies who are here, because this book, Clean Energy Common Sense, is really an endeavor for all of us. This is a product of my career, but the career of everybody in this room because we are linked in our efforts to advance environmental protection, advance solutions to climate change, and ensure that we do have a clean energy future that does make common sense for the country, one that does create jobs in this country, that addresses security issues, that ensures that our carbon emissions decline. That's the purpose of the book. The reason, and I have to thank Bob Deans because he told you the schedule and there would be no book without that partnership. He's an, an amazing colleague to work with on this. But what we wanted to do was to really go out and have a book that could talk to the American public. And here in this room, I'm with people who work on this issue every day, who are passionate about it, and who have studied it in great detail and great depth and know more than anyone, I can assure you of that. But the fact is that isn't true across the country. And I travel across the country and there are people each and every day who continue to be unsure. They, can, they are skeptics. Just last week, I was in Chicago speaking uh, at the Economics Club uh, with John Rowe from Exelon, 250 people there. The first question was, I don't really believe you. I don't believe that the science is there. It wasn't the only question either. And I was at a dinner party in the Bronx where I lived just the other night. Same question, you know, is this really true? So it is true. We know that the science is in and people need to know what the science case is from authoritative sources. The purpose of the book was really to present it's short, you can read it on the plane, pick it up at the airport, put it in your pocket, uh, and get the full story that the science case is in, that there are serious impacts already occurring, that there are ecological impacts, there are serious humanitarian impacts. It's a humanitarian crisis as well as an environmental crisis. That the security authorities from the CIA to the Pentagon have this very high on the agenda. That these are issues that we must address and we must address them now. And then the other part of the book, which is really important if they get through that part, is there really are solutions. And that is what we're all about. That's what we're working on here in Washington every single day. We know what the solutions are, they're available now. We need to put them in place and we need the help actually across America to do it. So in the end, it's a call to action. We want people across the country to participate with us and they, we want them to feel that they understand the issue. So by picking up the book, reading through it, we're hoping that they will take action and really call on their senators, on their elected officials, to finally get us on a trajectory that reduces carbon emissions, that creates a clean energy economy for this country that unleashes tremendous opportunity for American workers across the country. Lisa and I were in Gary, Indiana with the steel workers at a rally. I went to Cleveland. You know, there when you go to that part of the country, you really feel the loss of jobs. You want to be sure, you want to do everything in your power to make sure that these jobs are real, that they're available, and that we unleash them as quickly as possible. And so that gets us to the competitiveness issue because it's not only in the United States where there's a lot of eagerness to unleash the clean energy economy. And for those who've been to China recently, you can see that it's happening there. And I want it to happen here so that we are the leaders around the world and we really set the pace 
for how we uh, move to a low carbon economy that takes us down a very different road and that protects the planet and all the planet systems and all the planet's people in the process. So I want to thank you all for being here. I'm happy to sign any books if anybody wants me to. But more, more, more than anything, I want to thank all of you for the work that you're doing on behalf of the planet because the point about this issue is it is so broad, it crosses all sectors, and it will take all of us. And we're going down the right path. So thank you all very much. Enjoy the evening, and thank you for being here. from Roman and Littlefield. Oh, thank you so thank much. You You're so my much. hero. <laughs> thank you. Look at this. We're already way up on the charts. Isn't that great to see? Isn't that fantastic? They, you, nobody, How no, did you know? No work was done at our office today. Everybody was just going well, on got, Amazon. Yeah, I, had, I don't even know quite how to find it, but that's really fun, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So. Right, right, right. Well, and then we'll do more projects just together. I, oh, I'd yeah. love to do more projects yeah. together. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you did it so quickly, but... This is our publisher, Marcus Boggs. Oh, Marcus, thank you so John, much. So no, no we'll we're, this, is, this is a great so. partnership. Yes, it is indeed. It's fantastic. No, I just said that. Let's do some yeah. more. Because, I mean, I you know, we want to get out there and talk more broadly right. and to actually have it published and out right. in the marketplace and not just be our product, right. you know, puts enormous credibility on it. Right. And the fact that it becomes marketable and it's actually right. moving up the charts, you know, that <laughs> that gives an endorsement of what the topic is. So right. you guys guessed right. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's I don't know if we could do sure. anything quite so quickly again. Come and take a picture. These are our publishers. Get the publishers. They should, this is their product. I'm going to take a couple. Oh, great. Here, I'll hold up. Without them, there would be no book. Steven, get over here. This is our head of manufacturing, Steven oh, Driver. Thank you He's very much. He's the one much. who got the print schedule. Oh, weeks, great, so. great. Well, I appreciate people, that very, very, people very much. Yeah, no, I mean, you really went on overdrive. I'm sure you did. How often do you do things that quickly? Not, not often. often. Not, not often. often. Okay. But it's, it's, uh, it's fun when we do. Yeah, yeah. It's fun yeah, to see yeah. it all come together. It looks so good. Thank you. Doesn't it looks great? Did you guys do the design? Yes. Yeah, it's really yep. nice. Really nice. Bob talked about concept and. Yeah, yeah. No, Bob, he's a great concept. Piper's and, and, the designers who did the cover. Design. What? Piper for Wallace on the back. Her name's on the back. She did the yeah. cover design. Designed oh, great. in house. Great. In house. Um, Nice. The trim size and the interior was mine. Yeah. So, That's fabulous. Yeah, it, was lot, it was a lot of people. Put Thank it you. This was a portion of a Book TV program. You can view the entire program and many other Book TV programs online. Go to booktv.org. Type the name of the author or book into the search area in the upper left-hand corner of the page. Select the Watch link. Now you can view the entire program. You might also explore the Recently on Book TV box or the Featured Video box to find recent and featured programs.